we have um, the wintergreen plant here, which is also called tea berry and checkerberry, and it gets little red berries. We may see some later at another plant. Um, it grows close to the ground like this always, and if you taste this, it is a, um, a wonderful burst of wintergreen flavor. Mmm. Oh, delicious. By the way, because there's lots of little green leathery plants on the forest floor, what you ought to do is you break up the leaf, and when you break up herbs, you do it really well. You break this up, and then you'll hold this to your nose, and if it's wintergreen, it's going to smell like wintergreen. There won't be any question. We were looking before at the wintergreen. Here's one with the berry on it. So normally these will have a few berries on each plant. So probably an animal was here before that was eating these berries. We can eat this last one. I always like to give an offering um, to the plants, especially any that I'm going to harvest. Um, the way that I was taught and what I have found to be true is that we need to thank the plants for the gifts that they're giving to us. And I've made up a little blend of herbs, but all different kinds of blends are used. Traditional is to give tobacco. Um, it's good to give something you actually care about and love as your giveaway to the plants. And the purpose is twofold. One is to ask for permission to gather, and the second is to give thanks, assuming that the answer is yes. But you give thanks whether the answer is yes or no, and sometimes they do tell you no. So I'm asking if I can eat this last little berry that's so delicious, and what I'm hearing Wintergreen say is, oh yes, I have many, many more berries in these woods, so you go right ahead and eat that berry.